Hey, God bless you. Pastor Jeff wants you to know about a very key event tomorrow, a day, a global day of repentance, really, to focus on Jerusalem and to pray as part of the bride in, in many nations. We are his bride. He's the soon coming bridegroom. We have to pray for the protection of Jerusalem and Israel by the same forces that the humanistic anti-God forces that years ago were instructive in building the Tower of Babel. A good uh, brother in Jerusalem, Rick Ridings, has been praying and the Lord really revealed to him that this period of time in mid-July is vital to stop what it basically is a planned attack on Jerusalem. And so tomorrow on the 12th of July, making this on the 11th, we will be praying specifically for this. It will be at noon your time in your time zone for 12 minutes. Pray to the Holy Spirit <clears throat> that Jerusalem would be protected there would be unity among the body of Christ, among the bride and all the nations, that many would be called to this and it would defeat the ploy, the tricks, the plan of the enemy, that spirit, the spirit of humanism, which is expressed, for example, in Mr. Biden, the current occupant of the White House, who's going to be proposing in mid-July when he visits that neck of the woods, um, he's going to propose a two-state Palestinian solution, thus com completely violating God's own plan in his word for the unity of all that land for the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And uh, what I want to do is read uh, chapter 11 in Genesis, but first I also want to give you two, uh, or I should say the one phone call number if you want to call in tomorrow on Eastern time. This would be at 1145 Eastern, and then I th believe it'll go till 115 p.m. Eastern. The phone number is 717 908-1834 and the access code is 596-968-POUND. Again, that number is 717-908-1834. The access code is 596-968-POUND. So let's look at chapter 11 in uh, the New King James. It says, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. This, of course, is after Noah and the flood, where the Lord said, Be fruitful, multiply, go on all over the world. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, now here we go. This is verse 4, Genesis 11, 4. This is central to the whole mindset of Biden and the other uh, New World Order people that think we don't need God. Watch this. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks, bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, they had asked for asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make, look at this, let us make a name for ourselves. That's Satan. Satan wants you to make yourself God. You don't need the real God. You don't need to be afraid, uh, have deep respect for Almighty God, Yeshua, and uh, Elohim. No, 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 no. 
He wants you to make a name for yourself. Get out of that mindset. You have to humble yourself and pray and die to your old self. Come into the kingdom through repentance. Again, I'm going to read verse 4. This is Genesis 11:4, And they said, Come, let us build for ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. In other words, who needs the heavens? We'll just build our own little tower here. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the old whole earth. That, however, in Genesis 9 was the direct order of the Lord to Noah. So they are specifically, directly violating the word of God to their ancestor Noah. In verse 5 it says, But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they have one language. This is what they begin to do. Now nothing they propose to do will be withheld from them. Wow. Come, let us, capital U, that's the Elohim. The Lord is saying to the Elohim himself, Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the whole earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. So tomorrow, on the 12th of July, we're having a global day of repentance In your time zone, 12 noon, 12 minutes, spend time alone with the Holy Spirit, praying for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for unity among the body of Christ all over the planet. We're going to have people from Australia, from Africa, from Canada, all over the United States, all over parts of Europe. We are one bride in the eyes of the Lord who is the soon coming Bridegroom, he's coming back very, very soon. These are tumultuous times. Get right with God. Even before 12 noon tomorrow in your time zone, spend time right now. Get right with God. Ask him where you need to clean up. Maybe that same issue of pride. Maybe that same issue of rebellion that was in Nimrod and the others who built that Tower of Babel. They wanted to make a name for themselves. You want to make your own name? You have pride. Get rid of it. You have to die to yourself. You have to consider others better than yourself, like it says in Philippians 2. And now, pride is the number one abomination, a proud look. According to Proverbs 6, verse 16, the very first of seven abominations to the Lord is a prideful look. Remove it. Remove it and humbly come into the presence of the Holy Spirit. Ask him to help you not just confess it, but also remove it as a pattern. You and I, it says in John 15, verse 5, I think it is, without Jesus, without Yeshua, you and I can do zip, nothing, nada. You can't do anything on your own. You are totally dependent for the air that you breathe, for the food that you're eating, for any funds that come your way, all is dependent upon the living God to whom is due all glory, all honor. He is worthy of all praise. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, I pray many will see this video. Many will participate for at least 12 minutes at 12 noon tomorrow on July 12th that we will preserve Israel from those that would attempt to take it down or in any way impinge on the sovereignty of the entire nation of Israel, which is really your land. It's your land, Lord. No one can divide your land. It's holy unto you. So I pray this would go far, that many would share this video. Many would join in this call, a global call of repentance 
tomorrow to favor and bless Jerusalem and Israel. In Yeshua's holy name, amen and amen.